The Hawke's Bay coastline has a number of hotspots which are an, at immediate risk of coastal hazards, including Clifton, Tiawonga, Hamoana and West Shore. They are the parts of our coastline where we urgently need to develop strategies for both the short and long term. We've formed a joint committee of the three councils, Hawke's Bay Regional Council, Hastings District Council and Napier Council, and there is iwi representation too, to look at this problem uh, and try and come up with solutions for the next 100 years. We estimate that sea level rise could be as much as 1.5 metres, and that will put a lot of properties at risk all along this coastline. What we're dealing with here is a great deal of uncertainty because nobody can actually predict how bad the sea level will rise. We're going to the communities and asking the communities to come up with their own adaptive pathways in response to this risk that we face. The solutions to these problems are actually quite limited. You either defend where you are through renourishment or through building seawalls, or you have to retreat from the coastline in some sort of managed way. The cost of developing the strategy is being funded jointly by the three councils, but ultimately that's not going to be enough. The government is going to have to become a contributor uh, to the problem that we all face of coastal erosion and inundation. So we've divided the coast into Port South and Port North. We expect to have strategies developed and ready to recommend to the Joint Council Committee before the end of 2017. There are already a number of at-risk parts of this coastline where solutions have started. There will be a couple of public meetings where members of the community will be able to have feedback into the process and we look forward to receiving comments uh, from the public to help aid the solutions. Thank you.